Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, Quran Weekly. This is Abdul Nasser Jangda coming to you once again with the stories of the Prophets. Today we're going to be talking about Isa alayhi salam, the Prophet Jesus. Peace and blessings be upon him. The story of Isa alayhi salam is a very captivating, powerful story from the Qur'an. He's mentioned numerous places in the Qur'an and a lot of the places where Isa alayhi salam is mentioned, his mother Maryam, his mother Mary is also mentioned. So that's kind of where I'm going to start off at. I'm going to be talking to y'all about a few ayat from Surah Maryam, Surah number 19, a very beautiful surah, where I'm going to start off kind of where it's telling us about Maryam, the mother of Isa alayhi salam, when she was expecting Isa alayhi salam, and she was pregnant with him. Once she's given birth to him, and she comes back home carrying this infant child. Now think about this. A single young woman coming back home after being gone for a little while, holding a baby. فَأَتَتْ بِهِ قَوْمَهَا تَحْمِلُهُ قَالُوا يَا مَرْيَمْ لَقَدْ جِئْتِ شَيْئًا فَرِيَا And immediately the people were like, What did you do? How did you do something so terrible? يَا أُخْتَ هَارُونَ مَا كَانَ أَبُوكِ امْرَأَ سَوْئٍ وَمَا كَانَ تُمُّكِ بَغِيَا Your dad wasn't a bad person. Your mom wasn't, you know, some promiscuous woman. Well, how could you go and do something like this? Now, Maryam... This is a woman of great dignity and honor and integrity and faith. Allah had told her, don't respond. Don't respond. Why or what will happen? What can you do in that situation? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lets her know, we'll take care of it. And the next thing you know that this infant, this baby that she's holding in her arms, he speaks up. Miraculously, imagine that a baby that's at the most a couple of days old speaks. And what does he say? Allah tells us in the Quran, Qala inni Abdullah. Qala, he said, Inni Abdullah. Most definitely, without a doubt, I am the slave of Allah. I am the slave of Allah. Atani al kitab. He has given me the book. وَجَعَلَنِي نَبِيًّا And he has made me a prophet. وَجَعَلَنِي مُبَارَكًا أَيْنَمَا كُنْتُ And he, he's made me blessed wherever I may be. وَجَعَلَنِي مُبَارَكًا أَيْنَمَا كُنْتُ وَأَوْصَانِي بِالصَّلَاةِ وَالزَّكَاةِ مَا دُمْتُ حَيَّا And he has firmly commanded me to stick to prayer in charity or purification for as long as I am alive. وَبَرًّا بِوَالِدَتِي وَلَمْ يَجْعَلْنِي جَبَّارًا عَصِيًّا And he has made me someone who is very respectful towards my mother. وَبَرًّا بِوَالِدَتِي وَلَمْ يَجْعَلْنِي جَبَّارًا عَصِيًّا And he hasn't made me somebody who's very harsh and he hasn't made me sinful. He hasn't made me disobedient or harsh, but he's commanded me and he's told me and made me the type of person who's very respectful towards my mother. وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيَّ يَوْمَ وُلِدْتُ وَيَوْمَ أَمُوتُ وَيَوْمَ أُبْعَثُ حَيَّا And that peace and blessings will be upon me as long as I am alive, the day that I pass away, and the day that I will be resurrected and be brought back to life. So this was the statement of Isa a.s. as a baby, as a child. What the lesson I wanted to take and extract from here is the pride that we are supposed to have. Yes, pride. That usually shocks people because pride and arrogance is a bad thing. Except for the fact that we are supposed to be proud. And we are supposed to embrace being slaves of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, لَن يَسْتَنْكِفَ الْمَسِيحُ أَن يَكُونَ عَبْدًا لِلَّهِ وَلَا الْمَلَائِكَةُ الْمُقَرَّبُونَ That the Prophet Isa alayhi salam, he did not find it beneath himself to declare himself a slave of Allah. And the very close, beloved angels of Allah do not find it beneath themselves to be the slaves of Allah. We need to embrace being the slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and there's great honor and dignity in it. And 
While this is not my primary point here today in this video, one very other powerful thing is Allah tells us ahead in Surah Maryam, ذَلِكَ عِيسَى بْنُ Maryam. That was Isa, the son of Maryam, Maryam alayhim as salam. قَوْلَ الْحَقِّ الَّذِي فِيهِ يَمْتَرُونَ This is the true word right here that many people later on came and created doubts about. That So when we talk about Isa alayhi salam not being the son of God, we have to understand that Isa alayhi salam, his own statement about himself, in fact the very first words that he spoke were, إِنِّي عَبْدُ اللَّهِ I am the slave of Allah. What a powerful, unbelievable idea. Today we as grown adults, having all the knowledge that we might have and all the experience that we might have and everything that we've gone through and we've been through, we still, a lot of people still today have trouble saying, I am the slave of Allah. And here this amazing, remarkably blessed man, as a baby, as a child, as a newborn, his very first words are, I am the slave of Allah. Let's all of us, this might not seem like a very tangible take home point for a lot of people but to me it's a very powerful idea and I'll tell you very honestly a lot of young people struggle with a lot of different things crisis of faith and a lot of different questions they have I might be too simple minded about this but I've always felt that the second you embrace the fact that we are the slaves and Allah is the Rabb He's the owner we're the property when you can come to terms with that when you can realize that, when that settles in, everything else makes sense. Everything else is easier to deal with. So I want, as the take home message, as a lesson from this video, sitting right here, right now, say it, I am the slave of Allah. I will try to devote and dedicate my life to Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us all to live a life of dedication and devotion to Allah like the great prophet and messenger of Allah, Isa ibn Maryam, Isa the son of Maryam, the prophet Jesus alayhi salam. Until next time, Quran Weekly, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.